kids, our husbands, our wives, our partners. We as a child of God, we've still got to hold a standard of righteousness. Do you understand where I'm going? I don't know. My mind is ever going away from Job now. But as we walk our daily lives, we have got to show the love of Jesus Christ in our hearts and in our souls. You know, the Bible tells us that we are not in this or we are in this world but we are not of this world brother Perry what that is meaning is we should not take part of the things of the world when we get mad and lose our tempers we're not supposed to go out and do the things of the world. We're supposed to give it to God. Yes, we may get mad. Yes, we may lose our tempers. But you know, there is a way to be a little upset and keep your godly form. This morning. Do you know that? You know, we as Christians, we have to be an example for Jesus Christ. When we go to your grocery stores or go to the malls, we've got to have that smile of Jesus Christ on our face. If the clerk gets you mad, you're still supposed to, Robert, say I love you through the blood of Jesus Christ. We're not supposed to give in to the ways of the devil. You know, when we was working on this building and trying to get this building fixed up and get it ready, there was times, uh, Karen, that it could have been so easy for me to take a hammer and beat the walls in. But you know something? This was for God and the use for God, or for God to use this building. No matter what happens in our life, we have got to keep a Christianly tone. Sister Karen, we've never done it, but I don't know, we don't know what holds the future, but there may come a time where me and you are at each other's throats. But no matter how much you dislike me at the moment, you've got to love me. Because if you don't, you're going to not make it to that great city. And then back to Job again. All the things that Job had went through, losing his kids, losing his family, losing his cattle, losing his land, not one time did Job lose his temper and act, and I'm going to say it, like the devil. Job stood there knowing that God was going to take care of him, Jessica. His own wife told Job to curse God and die. Do you know what Job told his wife? When all this around him was going on, was she speak like a foolish child? Why is that? Because Terry, Job knew that if he had him to God just a little bit longer, that the issues was going to work out. He knew that if he stood his ground and stood there and not try to step out before God, that it was all going to work out. And that's the same way with us here today. Yeah, you may have problems, you may have people coming against you, but did you lose your children? Did you lose your wife, your husband? Did you learn or lose everything that you worked for? 
We today, we don't have it near what Job had. Do you know that? Job, I guess you could say, hit the bottom of the bucket. Do you know that, Shane? But you know something? Job, he just stood there as if people came and told him that his children are dead, his daughters are dead, his sons are dead. But Job just stood there and he had peace in his heart. Why? Because he had God right in his heart. No matter what you go through, if you have God right in your heart, it's going to be okay. We come out to his house. We pray. We worship him. We sing songs. We raise our hands. We dance like little David did before God. But do you really have the faith to put it all to work? What I'm talking about is do you have the faith of Jesus Christ to live what you preach? You can. I think we need to get ready to go here in a minute. Church, do you, are you preaching or are you living the way that you preach? We as a child of God, we need to live the same way in church as what we do outside of church. Do you know that? You can put on a face or you can put on a little show to fool the people that are sitting all around you. But God knows what you do on Monday mornings. I'm here today to tell you that time is too short to be playing two-faced with God. You may say, Mark, you're being a little rude this morning. I'm, I'm telling you that it is time that we buck you down. That we start living what we are preaching. Because people out there are watching you. People out there are listening to you. How are you going to win a soul when you're confessing Jesus one minute? And then the next minute you're stepping to the other side of the fence. And cussing like everybody else and carrying on like everybody else out there. Church, it is time for us, including myself, I have my downfalls too, just like everyone else does. I get mad. I may yell at Cassie, or I may get mad at Kevin and yell at him, and then he gets mad and starts yelling at me. But you know something? We might be yelling. But we're not doing it the devilish way. I'm here today to tell you, church, time is too short to be letting the world get you. Time is too short to live a double standard. Do you know that? Church, I preached last week, I think it was, on issues and problems. And I preached that Thursday night or whenever that was on it. But it's time that we start stepping forward. We may have people out of sickness or injuries or whatever, but it's time for the children of God to step forward and start marching again. It's time that we need to uh, go right up the path where Jesus Christ wants us to go. Are you following me just a little bit here today? Are you going to hate me when you leave this building? I'm only telling you this. Because I want you to go to heaven. Yes, I told on myself too. The Bible says that we're to confess our sins. And so yes, I confess mine because I do yell at Cassie and Kevin on occasions when they get on my nerves. But I'm telling you here today, if you do lose your temper just a little bit, do it the Christian way. Don't go after them. Don't throw things and try to break their head open. Do it the Christianly way. But I'm here today to tell you 
that we have to stand up for what is right and we have got to put in the place what is wrong. We've got to be able to stand as strong as what Job did. We should be able to have no problem with that. Because why? Because we are not going through what Job went through. If Job was here today and he heard some of us whining and complaining about our problems, he would probably just laugh. 